You may think I'm running out of video ideas, but I say why not make a part 3? I'm not doing anything else with my life. Here are the top 5 free puzzle games on Steam you don't know about. Part 3. The Looker is a first person puzzle game that's a parody of The Witness, having you wake up alone on an island full of puzzles that will definitely annoy you. You start out in a courtyard and aren't sure why you're solving puzzles, only hoping that there's a greater meaning which may or may not come. All of the puzzles involve you drawing lines that go from the start to the end, which sounds simple but there are a lot of creative solutions that twist this concept throughout. Around the environments, you can find audio logs that provide crucial information to your success. Through many births, I have wandered on and on, searching for, but never finding, a better deal than 0% APR on certified pre-owned vehicles. There are also characters in the form of hint buttons that you don't want to talk to for too long. I used rope to tie my pants and pants to tie my shoes. I may do the way a man does. Solving puzzles grants you access to new areas that have a different feel and look. It has you circle back to previously visited areas, revealing something new after solving a puzzle. If you're looking for a funny puzzle game all about solving creative line puzzles, then I recommend The Looker. Toki Time Trial is a first-person time-based puzzle platformer where you can stop time to solve puzzles. All of the puzzles are centered around starting and stopping time in order to reach checkpoints. Eventually you gain access to 10 throwable discs, which are used in a variety of ways. When time is stopped, they can be thrown a short distance before freezing, which is good for making platforms. Once time is started, the discs are regularly thrown, which are used to shoot targets to open a door or destroy orbs that shoot projectiles at you. There are also collectible clipboards to find around levels, some of which are in plain sight and others take some more effort. I enjoyed seeing the variety of ways that the time mechanic and the throwable discs combine to make for some precision-based platforming puzzles. If you're looking for a timing-based puzzle game with tight platforming, then I recommend Toki Time Trial. Monolight is a 2D platform puzzle adventure game where you use a lantern to navigate your way through a monochromatic world. The game looks and plays a lot like Limbo, having you platform around to open up new areas the environment. You're armed with a lantern that protects you from a danger known as the black that will kill you instantly if you're not in the light. The yellow light will charge your lantern, allowing you to move around freely in the black for as long as your lantern has a charge. The white light doesn't charge your lantern, but allows you to stay in the black as long as you're in the light. There's even a section of the game where your lantern is taken away, leaving you dependent on the white lights to progress. Switches can be flipped to turn on and off lights, as well as move platforms around to reach new areas. Because there's a checkpoint after each section of a puzzle, you're always making progress and never feel too stuck. The game is broken up into chapters and the story is explained through signs placed throughout levels and various characters you meet along the way. If you're looking for a puzzle platformer with a unique light mechanic, then I recommend Monolight. Lapso Nimbo is a first person game where you play as a girl who has to go through a cave solving puzzles to find out if the mysterious legends are true. First of all, the game is absolutely gorgeous having several different environments that are very realistic. Around the environments are objects you can pick up and look at hinting at the larger story. There are also cubes you have to find that act as keys to new areas. I honestly got more enjoyment out of exploring the environments and seeing the different sci-fi elements than solving the puzzles. The puzzles are fairly simple once you figure out what it wants, but that's also the hardest part. If you're looking for a beautiful puzzle game with surreal environments, then I recommend Lapso Nimbo. Missing Translation is a mysterious puzzle game where you're lost in a weird city full of strange creatures in the middle of the desert. You don't really know why you're in this city or what your purpose is, but have to collect three different chips to put into this machine. You do this by going through the village and entering buildings that have you solve one of three types of puzzles. Each puzzle has you complete 25 different puzzles in order to earn the chip. The first puzzle type is a slide puzzle where you have to collect all the pieces without getting stuck. The second puzzle type has you move multiple white lights around simultaneously so they end up in the goal box at the same time. And the last puzzle type has you rotate pieces around so all four sides are touching the same side of an adjacent piece. The puzzles all have simple concepts but get progressively more thought provoking as you progress through the set of 25. If you're looking for a relaxing puzzle game with a strange world then I recommend Missing Translation. One puzzly bonus game! <laughs>
the pilgrim has you explore a strange and mysterious world as you search around for symbols that will open a way forward. Each gate you approach gives you symbols to find which you have to drag onto the matching symbol in the environment. This sounds simple, but the level will rotate as you move to show different angles revealing more symbols. Some objects can be moved which can create a matching symbol, and some symbols have to be matched with the shadow in the environment. If you're looking for a trippy hidden object game with a gorgeously dark world, then I recommend The Pilgrim. Those were the top 5 free puzzle games on Steam you didn't know about. Part 3 I'll have part 1 and 2 to this video, as well as my playlist of free Steam games you don't know about linked in the description. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe to keep up with this ongoing series.